Hello, ninth grade Raptors. December's mini lesson is about the different types of financial aid out there that can help you pay for college and achieve your career goals. In Utah, the average cost of attending a public university as a resident student is about $25,000. In-state tuition itself is about $10,000, with the cost being higher for an out-of-state or non-resident student. And most of these f figures uh, we got from the University of Utah. And while it seems like a lot of money, there are many ways to make this more affordable for you. So today we're going to talk about five main ways that students use to pay for their schooling. The first is savings. Many of you are coming up on applying for your first job to start earning money. This can be one way to prepare for college. Consider setting aside some of that income into a savings account or taking it one step further and opening a 529 educational savings plan which is basically an educational investment that anyone can put money into for you and it will grow tax-free and be used on educational expenses like tuition, books, and computers. Parents, if you want to know more about the 529 plans, you can visit this website to learn more about the benefits. Other opportunities that I would consider as savings include things like taking concurrent enrollment in AP classes in high school because that will drastically reduce the cost of taking those college level courses in high school rather than taking them um, in college. And tuition reimbursement. This is something that many companies offer, so ask around to the jobs you end up getting over the next few years to see if they have it, because they may be willing to pay for part of or all of your education. Another common way to pay for school is through scholarships. There are so many different types of scholarships and they aren't all about sports and academic achievement. There are also a handful that apply to you currently as ninth graders now. One positive thing to know about scholarships is that they don't have to be repaid. And Skyridge High School has a great scholarship website that lists upcoming deadlines for certain ones, so feel free to visit that or come talk to your school counselor about any questions you have surrounding scholarships. And lastly, I want to introduce you to this acronym FAFSA. It's a term you'll hear pretty regularly in your senior year as you prepare to graduate and head off to achieve your career goals in college. It stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid, but it's most commonly referred to as FAFSA. After you submit your application, the federal government will offer a few types of financial aid to help you pay for college, and one of those ways is through grants. These do not need to be repaid, and the most common federal grant is the Pell Grant. They will offer you an amount of money through the grant, and then it gets sent to the school to help pay for your tuition. There are many other types of grants out there, though, so feel free to look around when you're applying for financial aid. Loans are another way to pay that the government will extend to you as an option. However, loans do need to be repaid with interest once you graduate college. Now, it can be tempting to take all the money they offer you, so please keep in mind that you will have to repay it eventually and that it's not free money. And while I wouldn't recommend relying solely on loans to pay for school, they can be one way to supplement the cost as you work to get more grants, scholarships, or personal savings fundings. And lastly, work study is another way to pay for school that will be offered through the FAFSA depending on availability. This often requires you to have an on-campus job and the university will pay you money you can then use towards school costs. Now this was a very brief overview of the different types of financial aid out there that can help you reach your career goals. We strongly encourage you to come speak with your school counselor or Sky Ridge's scholarship coordinator if you have any further questions. We hope this was helpful information and we want to wish you an amazing Christmas break.